Before we get to Jason, take a look at this. It's astronaut Jessica Mears view of the total solar eclipse. She told us last week NASA would be trying to chase the path from a high altitude. The eclipse finally caught up to them when they were 39,000 feet in the sky inside one of NASA's jet trainers. Pretty moving. cool shot there. <laughs> that shadow was moving a couple thousand miles an hour. Wow, and amazing. That, yeah, you were there, right? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, totally. No way. Um, um, but weather wise today, some showers across the state, right? Yeah, and out ahead of the showers, Zach, mid 60s up in Millinocket. Hmm. And I can tell you on Monday when I was there for the eclipse, it was around that temperature. But today it was even warmer than that up in northern Maine in the central highlands. We got showers around clouds overnight. And then tomorrow it's sun two clouds with late showers coming probably around afternoon evening time, but spring has sprung. OK, we are now clear of the snow outside of the mountains. So here's that west wind dominating the weather picture, drying things out coastal plains. So Wiscasset, you're at 53, Portland 54. A little onshore flow going on here over towards down east, 43 Southwest Harbor because of the onshore flow. But look at Millinocket. A warm spot on the map, 58. It was up to 64, the high up there in the northern part, the central highlands. Here's the rain now west of Presque Isle towards the uh, Allagash, seeing that rain over towards the central highlands and really around Augusta. And it's all just kind of spinning a bit here. It's going to continue to do that with this weak system, relatively weak, nothing severe out of this. Now the rivers are swollen, but this is not going to be enough rain to do any more damage. You know, overflow the bank situation, but up here in Millinocket and Caribou, here comes the rain through Presque Isle, Holton. Downwind of that would clear out, but as we get to Sunday morning, we're starting off a lot of sunshine. OK, clouds, a few flakes up towards the western mountains, you know, higher elevation. But look at the sun come out noon on Sunday, all sunny. However, your county, here come the clouds. That's going to be the advance. The next system coming our way. It's a fast mover. Now it's going to be a tornado threat well to our south in the mid Atlantic. For us, we're on the cooler side of the system, 40s and 50s. So no tornadoes here tomorrow. We'll have showers come in western Maine, the Boundary Plateau, southern Maine. Those showers come in as we get into the latter part of the evening and afternoon on Sunday. And then we clear out and notice here Monday morning clouds fill back in a few showers outside of the mountains on Monday. But this is not going to be a big deal. I only expect a few passing sprinkles or a shower at best later in the day on Monday. Small craft advisory is up. That is until Sunday at 8 o'clock. The next seven days, the forecast. It is a really pretty nice day tomorrow. I think we'll start off with a lot of sun, then give way to those showers late. Uh, clouds to sun Monday, a sprinkle or two. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday look good. And then as we get into later in the week, wouldn't you know, we're back at some, some showers Thursday, Friday at the coastline. Right now, this doesn't look to be quite that heavy, but it is certainly is a little bit more in that doom and gloom thing. Mm. So let's enjoy the sun that we got out today and especially tomorrow. Yeah, I like the ratio of sun icons versus <laughs> raindrop. icons. I worked very hard to <laughs> Zach to put more sun on there as best I could. All yes. right, let's hope it turns out to be real. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, Jason.